Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're going to be seeing a Block Tech Desert Storm mock. But uh, before we begin, just a little backstory. I bought a second one of these sets. This is the Block Tech Desert Storm Desert Bomber. I previously did a review of this set. Uh, I'll put a link in the description in case you haven't seen it. So look in the video description for a link to the, the review of this set. I bought a second one of these sets. It has some good parts. And in my review of this set, everything seems to be in good order. The uh, For the most part. The, the truck and the little tank and the artillery over here. And the Desert Bomber here was the weak link of the bunch. We got these ugly flags sticking out over uh, in a gap there where the uh, that's so that there's room for the guy's hands and there's barely enough room for the guy to be in the plane uh, and in order to fit him in there I had to take part of the top off uh, and uh, fit him in there and then uh, he wouldn't uh, fit like in the picture here. Photoshopping him in there doesn't mean we'll be able to fit him in there. Yeah. Um, it looks like he's just photoshopped in there. There's barely enough room for the little levers. And the part of his helmet that sticks out on the side got in the way. Anyway, I'll refer you for all the details to the review of this set. Um, so um, what I did was I made my own uh, plane, my own desert bomber, and that's what we're going to be seeing in this video. Using parts from this set and from uh, this big set here, the, the uh, HQ Outpost, Desert Storm Block Tech. I also used parts from that set. So we're going to be seeing... Uh, uh, a block tech desert storm mock and here it is here's here's my my uh, custom designed custom made desert storm desert bomber plane that I created and I also did a couple of uh, just quick modifications to the the truck and this this cute little tank here so set these guys aside Set them aside. Um, this is my plane, and as I said in my review, fatten it up a bit so that we can fit our guy in there. And um, I added these missiles onto it. Um, using I took parts from the the Desert Storm sets and from some other Block Tech sets. So this is 100% Block Tech parts. Uh, used in the, the construction of this this model here. Uh, I don't mix brands. Did not did not mix it with Legos. This is 100% block tack stuff. So and uh, there is a guy in there. I promise you, there is a guy in there. This is what I came up with. Fatten it up a bit. The uh, their model was only four four pegs wide. Um, fatten it up to six pegs wide and we can uh, let's see if I can do this open this whole thing up here this opens on a hinge and then I have another hinge in the back there and this part this whole part opens up and there is our interior with our uh, pilot and I, I took some of my extra Lego stickers I decided eh, I've, I've collected a lot of Lego stickers I probably have more than I, I need for my Lego creations so I, I just took some Lego stickers and made a little control panel for him he's got his levers there I do have to say the block tech minifigures because their arms uh, go straight out they're not 
they don't bend at the elbows like uh, Lego minifigures are well designed for these levers and those are um, an old best lock invention they're they're on a little ball joint in there so they can they can move around they don't just move back and forth so here is uh, what I did I um, I just like to walk you through it real quick and this, this this front part that that goes down in like that and the uh, the teeth on the the, the the just just lock in like that and then we close our we close our uh, canopy front window I did have it uh, so that the front window was here but it was uh, was, was sitting there but it was getting in the way of uh, it, it got in the way of uh, positioning my little guy in there with his with his little levers so I decided just to attach it to the uh, to the roof there and we can we can uh, open up the whole whole roof and, and we've got access I like to just like to walk you through what I did here's what I did um, I built the base very similar to how they did we got these both underside pieces and I, I took a, a longer plate on the side and I'm building up on on the side here and uh, I put my guy in there so I decided where I wanted him to be in relation to everything else and I put him in there and then I, I gave him his little control console and his levers I didn't put the stickers on uh, I usually don't put the stickers on until I'm it's finalized until I'm sure that that's the way I want it to be uh, so it, it didn't have the stickers on the little control console um, I put them on last after I'm all finished and then I, I partially take it apart and dig out those parts and, and put my stickers on them and then plug them back in anyway um, I, I put my guy in there uh, where I wanted him to be and then built around him so he was in there the whole time that I was uh, constructing this he was in there holding his levers um, with his little control console in front of him and um, I built around him to uh, to do this and then, then I, I, I put the, the, the black windows there with the, those do have a, a plastic glass piece and a dark the, the transparent dark color I built around them built my back part there attached my wings and then worked on the roof so I, I decided to use this hinge here and it is uh, connected to this hinge or you know this hinge part and then, then I stuck these parts on on the front and and there we are so just a quick note to the block tech uh, model designers I realize it's probably more convenient to uh, design this stuff on computers you know using a computer program Lego has a, a program that you can design stuff uh, but there's nothing quite like getting down and dirty with the parts and uh, doing it the old-fashioned way of, of building that's what I prefer I'm not I'm not saying that I'm I'm a expert model designer or anything like that I'm just saying I do what works for me and what works for me is to put him in there get him situated uh, with his little controls and then build around him so, so that uh, he fits yeah so that's what I did there might actually uh, be able to fit a second guy back there I'm not really sure or some supplies 
so that's that's how I I do stuff like this I put my guy in there build around him and there's our desert bomber we got we got our missiles here I guess these are our missiles um, or bombs that, that that the bomber can drop and then we got our, our custom-made machine gun on the side there I actually got these from a uh, these silver cones from a uh, dinosaur set, a small dinosaur set, block tech. And we got our back part there. Let's pull away and so that's just a, a quick note. And uh, the 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 back landing gears. Are, um, yeah, one of the problems that, that their model had was that they, they put the landing gear on the wing and then you can tip it over when it's sitting there. This one, nope, it's not going to tip. They had them on the wings uh, where this, uh, this second missile is here. They had them back there on the wings and it could, it could tip back really easily. Mine, you have to force it to tip back and then it's not going to stay. So that's how I did the landing gears. They're, they're back there, back a bit further than the wings. We got our front one. Just using uh, whatever parts I had available from various block tech, uh, Desert Storm sets and other sets. And that is my custom-made, fattened-up desert bomber there. And then, in addition, um, I did some small modifications to this cute... I still like this cute little tank here. I think it's pretty cool. Um, their tank... It's got the red laser cones and those weird things on the sides there. Um, and the little levers are closer up so that the uh, when, you, when you turn it around it bumps into the little levers. So I moved the little levers back. This, this, is, this is like, uh, I decided this is like an ROV, a remote operated vehicle. So uh, one of our soldiers would be... Uh, uh, concealed behind cover and he would radio control this and that this this would go out there uh, scouting maybe um, so this is what I did for the uh, the, the uh, machine gun cannons just just put those there uh, and then put some parts in the, in the back to to beef it up a bit and it doesn't really need anything on on sticking out on the sides I don't think so there's there's the uh, just just some simple modifications I did to that and then the uh, first aid truck vehicle um, I did in the back here if I can get it open I just placed a tile there so that the uh, it can't fall in and I had that problem with it. It, it there's there's too much of a gap there and it, it falls in and then I can't get it back out we can open these open these up it's actually a pretty cool vehicle we can we can open all these up and put a wounded soldier in there I didn't do any modifications to the interior but I just improved the back part a little bit and the problem this vehicle had with the front was that uh, this part here the front of it grabs on tightly to 
to your window part uh, these, these block tack parts some of them grab on really tight they had it down one layer and and it would just it would connect back here and then connect to the front of the window and when I tried to pry it off to put my guy in there it brought the whole window up with it so I got some tiles we got a grill in there just for fun uh, and some of these annoying little squares that show up on a lot of uh, block tech sets just put them there and we can put our roof on there and it just kind of sits sits on the top until we're ready to take it off and there is our guy at, at the uh, steering wheel driving it I think I lowered the steering wheel too because it was up, up a bit too high so there's our guy in there and those are the modifications I did to this vehicle so um, that's that's about it for this video I, I just wanted to see if I could design my own desert bomber and this was the result I'll just uh, show you again real quick open this up and there's plenty of room for him to be in there and this is how you do it desert bomber and that is uh, my my mock and mods for this block tech desert storm desert bomber set thank you for watching